Hey, Chappie here, and nothing beats a day fishing. So uh, New Zealand just keeps delivering on this entire trip, never fails to deliver, and right now I couldn't be in a better place to check it out. So you've got what you call the Paku Mountain there, and on that side is the Tairua Ocean Beach. Here's all the big uh, estuary inlet, and you can see obviously all the boats are moored in here. Over this side is a place called Pawanui, which you've got to go around the road to get to and it runs up to this headland quite close here and you've just got a magic spot in New Zealand so you've got this nice wharf where you can come down and fish and believe me there are fish here they're not on my line yet but uh, maybe while we're talking we might hear that thing go zzzz, and then we'll be able to pull something in and show you what it's all about but if we look down here hopefully the camera doesn't drop in let's just check it out and just wait and see if you can see that there's some bait fish going through there look at them all around the wharf and then below them you may not be able to see them on the camera but below them are the bigger fish a fish that they call kawai which is a lovely smoking fish put a bit of brown sugar on there a bit of soy a bit of honey and you've got yourself a beautiful feed so already i've caught a few fish not today but off this wharf caught a nice big kawai saw a guy catch a nice big uh, trevally so I've just got my line, just, just having a little breather from holding it, just checking it out. But what an idyllic spot, look at that. So I'm just out there working on his launch, doing a bit of maintenance no doubt. And that is what New Zealand just continues to serve up. And here we are in May, it's May the 6th. Uh, nice little friendly seagull here, probably hoping to get some scraps of bait. But it's May the 6th and it's still warm, still incredibly warm in fact. So uh, summer has not abated. Tairoa has this beautiful situation where over on that side of the estuary you've got this nice 18 hole golf course, you've got a rugby club, a tennis club, a bowls club, a um, fishing club which is just directly opposite over here. You can have a nice ale there in the afternoon looking out over the boats and seeing what people have caught. And it looks like I'm not going to be too much in the action so far. It's full tide, so the boats, I don't know if you can see, are just sort of floating kind of halfway. The tide is turning, it's been in. The boats will swing around with their bow up this way, with the water going past them as the tide starts to go out. And that's when the fishing should get better, as those big fish that have gone up through the estuary waterway here uh, decide it's time to go back. So, thought you might like to see what I'm up to. No motorbike riding today, or not at least not at the moment. Uh, it's drawing, my trip is drawing to a close. It will be not too far away before I'll have to make my way back to uh, Australia, catch the warm weather, and maybe uh, I'll tell you about the next exciting adventure coming up, which will be getting my Harley back going again after it's been sat there for a year, and heading off again up through, this time up to my favorite spots in Northern Queensland. So. Stay tuned, if you haven't already, hit subscribe and all that shit, you know, where you tap the bell and all that crap. I want to keep climbing my subscriber network and then we'll set off on an adventure around Australia. Not around completely this time, but just all my favourite spots that I found when I went around last time. So, it's uh, from the seagull and me, it's keep your eyes on the horizon. But my today is keep your eyes on that rod because if it bends over, that means something's on the line. Uh, and obviously, you know, always got to get your knees in the breeze as and get out and walk and move around. So from Tairua, one of my top spots in New Zealand, a place that I could easily pick up picks and uh, live here. It is just beautiful. Downside, the average house price here is 1.5 million. So uh, prices have got pretty exy in this, this part of New Zealand. But, you know, for the people that bought in here years ago, I'm sure they're loving it. Uh, anyway, till next time, chap you over and out and let's see what I can catch.